No, I love I love doing stand-up comedy. I actually have a bunch of day jobs to support stand-up. I'm a dog walker and I'm also a host at a restaurant, which means that my entire career is dedicated to telling things to sit. <laughs> That's my sad existence, you guys. And it's crazy because I was always told, you know, if I went to a good school and got really good grades, like I would have a really successful career. I'm sure we've all been told that college American dream, right? Yeah. Okay, only three of us in here. <laughs> like, if earlier I asked if anyone was from visiting from out of town, and yes, Silver Lake counts. <laughs> I'm looking at you, sir. You're either deep Venice Beach or deep Echo Park, and I can't tell. <laughs> My neighbor told me that there might be an earthquake because the uh, weather's acting so crazy. And she, and we live in Venice Beach, so I'm like, she's a witch, she knows what she's talking about. I, I better, I, all the water bottles that are here tonight, I try to slowly hoard into my bag and just take with me and be like, I got an emergency kit ready. But knock on wood, actually, I'm terrified. Okay. That's what I want to talk about. No, it's wild. I was told, you know, if you go to a good school, get good grades, the whole thing, right? And I think, like, where I messed up is I went to San Diego State University. And the second I got there, my priorities changed. I was like, I'm here to get hot. And my dad was like, what? No, you're here to get a degree. What are you talking about? And it's hard because everyone there is beautiful. Like everyone, the students, the professors, the fucking janitors, everyone is gorgeous. And I just wanted to be that, you know? And so I felt like the only way I could do that was to join a cult. <laughs> and, um, this cult has actually, they're nationwide, they are an open secret, I'm not sure if you've heard of them, they're called sororities. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, you know, 18 and dumb, and I was like, oh, I know how osmosis works, if I'm around pretty girls, I will become a pretty girl. And I wish I could go back in time and just like shake myself and say, hey, you want to be the hottest woman in any room you walk into, don't, don't join a sorority. Go join an improv team. You will be the hottest woman just by default. There are no women on that team. Because at the end of the day, there is really no difference between Delta, Delta, Delta and Zip, Zap, Zop. It is all a load of nonsense that is a huge waste of my dad's money. You're, this is resonating with you. Are you either in a sorority or not an improv team or both? Oh, improv. Improv. Here in Los Angeles? Here. Zip. Zop. Okay, we did it. That's improv. <laughs> this is where I am told to plug up the West Side Comedy Theater teaches improv classes. Uh, <laughs> um, Westsidecomedy.com. Uh, Chris, do I get my money now? <laughs> okay, he left. All right, let's get to the American tours. So we have tourists here tonight. You guys are from America. No one's visiting from across the pond. I, I know, it's sensitive times, actually. How dare I say that? Um, um, I, <laughs> Twitter is very divided. I can't have an opinion on it right now. So I'm, we're gonna, oh, you are? Yes. You're, you're from across the Are you from England? London. London, which is in England. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a huge idiot. I'm not going to geography either. Oh, you're like, so you're like, I don't know where I am right now. I thought I was in New York. I came all the way to America to watch the best stand up comedy in New York, and so now I found myself in an alley in Santa Monica. <laughs> Same girl. I've, I've been looking for the Statue of Liberty for years now. I thought when I moved to Venice Beach, I thought I was in Italy. <laughs> Why is the canal so trash? <laughs> That's amazing. I went to London once, uh, and I went for like the three days where the sun was out. And it was cool. I... That's all I have to say about that. And so we don't force come back into that story, but... That's awesome. Okay, so you're from, uh, from across the pond. Are you... Oh, I'm sorry. This is the sensitivity portion. Are you okay? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. And also, if the food isn't sitting here well with your stomach, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of sugar in it. The portions are way too big. I get it. Yeah, I'm all right. She was on her way out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was spoken like a true, like, like, 
like, how many of us talk about our grandparents that we weren't close to, you know? <laughs> they were in the hospital, I saw them once, but they were asleep, it was a coma, you know? I, I didn't really know, I was closer to my mom's side of the family. I love people from, from anywhere else in the world because you all are a world that you understand the timeline of history in this country, in, in the world. Uh, because sometimes I'll run into US tourists and they'll ask me like, oh, like, like what ethnicity are you? And I'll say like, oh, I'm half white and I'm half Japanese. And they're like, oh, so your parents met during the war. <laughs> and I'm like, what fucking war? How old do you think I am? You think I was conceived in 1944? <laughs> the more I do this joke, the more the under eye back just protrude out of my face. I am so angry, you guys. Like, I mind-boggling that people would think that I'm 78. <laughs> and look, I get it, like Asian people, we don't age. But once again, I'm not 78! <laughs> it's what, look, and I, I don't want to speak on behalf of the Asian American community, mainly because they asked me not to. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, I am so excited for the show this evening, but I will say one last thing. So we have a, a, an audience mainly from Los Angeles, correct? Correct, make some noise, LA. <laughs> yeah, I'm right here. And here's the thing, like, I love sleeping around in Los Angeles. I do, because the best thing about sleeping around in Los Angeles is seeing all the ways the sun rises over different neighborhoods. You know, you wake up in the Hollywood Hills, and that's like waking up in the sound of music. But for the most part, I keep waking up on the same rooftop in Koreatown. <laughs> That's like waking up in the movie Memento, you know? <laughs> you're not too sure how you got there. But at the end of it, you realize, you know, it's just my own fault. <laughs> but it's wild. I'll, I'll end on this and then we're going to bring up an amazing comedian. Um, I have a younger brother who is Gen Z. And he's not one of the annoying ones, thank God. So this year for his birthday, I'm going to give him an amazing birthday present. I'm going to give him my ID to start using as a fake. <laughs> This is 2022, a bouncer can't ask him why he used to be Olivia. <laughs>